Hello guys and welcome back to our 42nd episode of Satisfactory Let's Play. Now it has been a while so we'll do a little bit of a catch up. So in our last episode, if you remember rightly, we were having problems with our fuel generator setup and we had just set up the store. Now you are going to notice quite a big difference because update 5 has arrived and we've been playing a lot with that and also making some changes, trying to fix the save a bit and uh, also prepare for Fixmas, which we'll be talking about shortly. Thankfully though, returning to our power plant, it has been fixed and this wasn't done by myself. I must admit, I was struggling with this. I couldn't find any of the issues. There were also the pipe bugs. Well, thankfully, one of our mods, Mr. Games Irwin, managed to fix it for me. And there were a lot of problems. First off, this fuel wasn't balancing properly, which was probably due to my lack of attention. And there was also a pretty big problem with the water um, packages not being balanced either for some reason. Uh, it's actually to do with this section here. You can see some of the yellow lights. They're for some reason not receiving all the resources they should, but it wasn't helped with the build. And so what happened at some points were we had Mark II pipes, which we'd upgraded from Mark I's. However, inside the Mark II's, when you deleted them, there was the Mark I pipe still running there. And so that meant there was a bottleneck stopping a lot of the resources from getting through over to the next section. And there were a few more issues here and there, but thankfully the issue has been resolved and now we're generating more or less 100% of the power. You can see here that we're generating about 53,000 megawatts at any one time and all of our batteries are full. So we've got a little bit to play around with. Now we are still playing around with the update five stuff and we haven't adjusted all the things. There's still a lot that I want to change with our build, but I must admit, I love these sloped walls cutting through the glass. And if we go over to the other side of our factory, you may have noticed this building, which is actually my silicon and quartz factory. I build this really quickly to uh, give us the resources that we need so that we can produce all of the lovely glass. And I'm pretty happy with it. It's certainly its own style. I've actually done a video on different architectural styles that you can do in Satisfactory. I'll put that in the top right hand corner now. But it's not just the outside that's changed with update five. We have so much more to play around with. And as you can see, I am definitely making the most of it playing around with all the different things we can do. Another thing to note that with update five, we have had another little change, which is of course signaling to trains. And I must admit, I've had plenty of fun playing about with them, working on trying to get guides up and running. And speaking of which, we will do an updated signaling guide come the new year because there's some things that I'd like to talk about in a little bit more detail. We've also been given the ability to build curves now, and I have to admit, I love the more fluid feel to all of these rails now. And so we're probably going to go for more of this style. Although this is a single track, we'll probably need to double this up at some point. And some of you may have noticed just on top of this mountain in the background that we've done a new build. This is though just me playing around with some architectural styles and also uh, trying to develop a little nuclear power plant. We're not going to do all of our nuclear power plants like this, but I wanted to give it a try and see what we could do and play around with that. Also to boost our power while we were having so much trouble with the fuel generators. But don't worry, for the time being, it's not running. We're going to talk about that when we get round to that build. But before then, we've got plenty more to talk about. We've been playing around with architectural styles, like you can see this one, which is based on the Chicago school style uh, architecture. And dotted around, we do have a few more builds, such as this prairie style architectural build and the modern style, which you can see here. We've also built a little hall of fame, which is going to be where the wall of patrons is going. Um, uh, we, we did actually get quite far with this up until I accidentally saved over the game, um, but let's just skip over that. This is coming in the future. I then worked on a little train distribution center, which is going to grab all the resources from the grasslands. Yes, I know it does look pretty cool and even better than yet, watch this. 
No clipping. I mean, we had built it before and then it clicked through and we had to rebuild it. I am pretty happy with that overall. And it's also taking a ton of the resources from all the nodes in this area. I say all, we still have a good few to collect, as you can see over here. But we're getting there. And in case you're interested in how we got all the resources to these buses, basically we've taken a single line from each of the nodes and run it to one single tower, which is this one you can see in the middle. And then we run it all, once it's all joined and merged together, along a large bus. And I love it. I love this industrial feel. It's just a lot of work. And the time it took to build this wasn't the only little problem that we came across. And uh, you can actually see the other one. When Coffee Stain flipped the foundations during one of the patches, they then flipped them the other way on a second patch, which has meant that a lot of my factory is still requiring a bit of patchwork. But no worries, it is life. We've almost got through it all now and redone them. And if you were wondering what this particular section is for, well, it's just a test ground really for update five. When it was released, we did the train signaling uh, guide here. This is where we were working from. Uh, for now, it's not being used for anything else. So we're, we're not going to worry about this for now, but potentially when we expand the factory, we'll be using this. Then brought to the present day, something unforeseeable happened. Fixmas. And with it, the Fixit Productive Packager, or Packer Deluxe even. And I have to admit, I got a little bit addicted to this. I'm really enjoying it, but the thing is, it's it's just, I'm not quick enough. It's not designed for people like me. The reason I came to Satisfactory was because I'm, a, I'm really slow when it comes to games, right? <laughs> I like to take my time. Oh! See, and then things like that happen. 1,650. That wasn't our high score for this one, but it wasn't bad, considering. Anyway, enough of that. Because we have more important things to attend to. We have Fixmas. And yes, once again, it's spreading the joy. Now, I would say I haven't done anything for the Fixmas factory yet, but that, unfortunately, would be a lie. Yes, we've already started. We're building a little like Santa's grotto here. We're playing around with the shapes. We've got curves going on. We've also got these uh, factories, which I really like, but I just love the feel and uh, look of these. So each one of these are producing a Fixmas item. On the left, we have the uh, the gold and silver baubles we, or Fixmas decorations or ornaments, I think they're called. Here we have the red and blue ones. This is the Christmas bow. Here we have the Christ Fixmas branches. And this one, once done, will be the candy canes. With all of our presents coming from these trees here. Although I think we're going to have to add another row of them on the inside because I don't think we're producing enough. In the center, we're going to have a little ice rink playing around with those coated plates. And of course, we're going to be building a few more buildings as well. And if it's too much, we're just going to build downwards or maybe up the sides. I really want it to have this own little kind of grotto feel. All of these presents are brought through under the factory lines. You can actually see we load everything from underneath as well. Uh, we still have a fair amount to uh, set up. All of these are bringing the presents in but they're not set to production lines just yet. And then if we go inside, you can see all of these are coming up through the floor and then going back down afterwards. Yes, I know it's not very nicely decorated for the moment, but that is all going to change, I promise you. Now, the good news over here is that the candy cane is produced at five per minute. So if we take the five per minute and we times the uh, consumption rate, which is these uh, three Fixmas gifts, we can see that each constructor is going to require 15 Fixmas gifts per minute. And currently we're running off Mark 1 lines, which have a total of 60. So this factory is going to be really easy to build. We just need four constructors, which is definitely for the best given how small this uh, factory is. So I think what we're going to do, because it's just four, we will have, I think all four of them just straight in front. Uh, may, no, maybe across the side because we haven't got a huge amount of space. 
and then kind of want to pull these across so that we can see them. But we do have this issue. So what if we run them over here? We're also going to be placing down some wall holes or conveyor lift floor holes even because they're amazing. And we're going to grab our Mark 1 elevators and just point them into here. Next, we need to do the logistics floor underneath and then we can bring them all up. Oh, don't you just love that you can change the direction of elevators now, pressing R. Such a nice addition. And then the last thing for us to do is to bring all of these Fixmas presents. That's not quite straight. Along to there. And would you look at that? Our first candy canes. Okay, so that's fine. We're just going to get them into a container for now. And then the next thing that we need to look at today is going to be the Fixmas Ornament Bundle, which is going to require assemblers, so it's going to take a bit more room. And with all of those ornaments in this building, as you can see here, it's uh, slowly... Actually, we have a good stock of these. We have like... Look at that, 3,000, 5,000. Um, I can't remember how many we're producing here, but it's certainly enough. Ah, yes, now I remember. 360 iron ore and 360 copper ore being changed into ingots and then sent to that factory. Just look at that roof. I love that. I think that's beautiful. There's so much more we can play around with now. So in theory, at full capacity, we can be producing 36 times 5. What's that? 180 ornaments per minute which isn't bad. And we're going to need a lot of them anyway, because we want to get the giant Fixmas tree upgrade to go on to uh, this one. We want to complete this before the end of Christmas, and I am lagging behind. In fact, today we need to unlock this, which means I need to unlock actual snow, which means we're going to need to build a factory for this, and then we're going to need to build a factory for the Fixmas decorations afterwards, just so that we can unlock this. It's a lot, it's a lot. All right, I've done a little bit of decoration. You can't call me a Scrooge anymore. Speaking of which, uh, we do have a special stream for Christmas with Edna over on Twitch on this Monday coming, which is the 20th of December. If you do want to join us, we're going to be doing some cooking and some decorating all together. It should be all around quite fun. We'll be starting at about 6 p.m. GMT. I've also got another thing that I've got planned for you guys next week over on YouTube, but we'll be talking about that soon. I want to do a little bit of a teaser trailer for you. The next thing that we're going to be doing here, however, is to sort out a sn actual snow factory as well as that um, collection of ornaments. I can't remember what they're called. Ornament bundle, I think. And then also the Christmas or Fixmas wreaths, which we'll do in this section here. And then after that, I want to make this little area a ski rink with the tree in the middle and then decorate that. I think that should be quite nice. So we have now built our outer shell for the factory that's going to be producing the ornament bundles, the snow, and hopefully with a little bit of luck, if we can fit them in the wreaths. And we've actually managed to do it. So we're going to head in and I'll uh, give you a, a little showcase. You can see that on the inside, it's quite sparse. We've got four machines running actual snow. And they're feeding under. And I realized we could tuck these into these walls. So it's really compact, which I'm kind of liking. And so we ended up repeating it further in. So here you can see we've got the ornament bundles being produced in the same fashion. We could add more, certainly, but there's no rush. And from here, because we had so much room, we've also been able to produce the wreaths, which are going into this little um, storage unit which I've nested inside the wall. But yeah, pretty liking it. I just need to add some more decoration. Speaking of decoration, though it's not quite a ski rink, you can see we've now placed the coated um, plating, coated foundations on the floor, and it has this kind of shiny look. So I'm hoping 
that with some lights, we can make this look a little bit more like it's ice. And so we're going to do this by grabbing some street lights and we're going to place them at least in a square, probably. Uh, we'll place eight, I should imagine. So we'll place one here, one this side, one them dead in the middle, and then maybe one in between these. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, excuse me, it says <laughs> absolutely in the middle. Um, one, two, three, four, so it's here. That's just on the edge, so it looks a little bit weird. We can daisy chain these, so this shouldn't look too bad. And I think what we will end up doing is going over to the fix. I don't know if we can... If we grab some of those um, bauble bundles, we can cover them here. So this is looking really nice, but there's one thing that I've noticed, which I think it's a bug. You cannot, apparently... Um, build over the top. You have to delete these, which is a little bit annoying. It takes a bit more time. But I think this is going to look really nice. Let's do it all the way around. So I'm quite happy with this. However, I think we need to make it look a little bit more Christmassy. So I plan on, hopefully, this works, placing these into... Come on. Okay, I can live with that. Ideally, it would be a little bit closer. But I'm not complaining. Right, let's, let's just see. Let's just see if we can manually place these. Okay, that doesn't look terrible. Let's do that. So we are getting much closer to what I was trying to to get towards with these lights. We also have those lollipop sticks or candy canes even that look so much better. Um, I think we need to add presents. I think we need some Fixmas gifts here. So that's the next thing that we're going to do because as you can see, we, <laughs> we need to unlock this upgrade three. But it's quite a lot. We don't have this much yet especially at these. So we're going to wait for this to be done. And until then, we're going to work on making that a little bit prettier. To say I hate myself right now would be an understatement because this is going to take so long to do. Um, but I kind of like this circulation of presents. So if we bring that round, here we'd... It's going to have to clip through, but we will have a Mark 1 lift down. Just need to get down there without breaking anything. I don't have enough. We could go with the Mark 2, but bring this down. <coughs> then we'll bring it up on the other side, and then once we're done, we'll just fill this in like nothing happened we'll have fixmas presents on this it's gonna be quite a bit of work ah yes there we go much better i actually really like this circle of presents it's perfect especially with the little entrance that we have here i think we can work on this more but I love having both the snowman there, the little border gate as you enter the rink, and all of these lovely signs. But whilst we're waiting for these Fixmas decorations to be finished, uh, we're going to leave it there. We need a, a couple of hundred, and once we've got them, we'll be able to get started on that star, and uh, then we'll be able to finish off and get those stars coming in ready for Fixmas. But anyway, guys, that's all we have time for. If you did like the video, please do drop a thumbs up. If you have any ideas of how we can make this a little bit more Fixmasy, uh, by all means, do let us know in the comment section. And don't forget, you can join us over on Twitch immediately after this for some more Fixmas fun. Anyway, guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching and thank you to all of our amazing supporters, most notably our Solar Eclipse patrons, The Calamity, Cerebral Tag, and James Irwin, as well as our Lunars, Dixie Chris and Lord of July, as well as our Blood Moon of the Day, which today is Papa Snoozy. Until next time, as always, 
Ciao for now.